Hello all, this is Derek Jameson, QHHT Past Life Regression Practitioner, Spiritual Life Coach, and Channel. Today's talk might not be for you all, but if you decide to let this play, then the title alone has spoken to you. Here I will be discussing star seeds, star families, galactic heritage, and a very brief touch on what has come before, what is happening now, and what is happening in the future. However, that said, Everything exists in the present moment here and now, so any reference to time is just to get a grasp on these concepts in our linear Earth concept of time. The following information is my interpretation, and I am providing information from my own experience. Other interpretations from other people may vary. First of all, what is a starseed? Many people on our planet today don't feel like they belong here. Between mass depression and a longing for a life that isn't the one being lived, humans look to the stars for answers, for longing, for belonging. That is because we all come from the stars. Regardless if this is your first incarnation on the earth plane or it is your 1000th reincarnation, we are all made of the same thing, of the same source energy. That said, we all come from out there. Now, when it comes to the term star seeds, it is referring to humans that have come back into the earth from other cosmic realities to infuse the planet with higher dimensional information and to help the healing of the earth and the expansion of the universe. Now, different people connect with different galactic heritage groups. This is because it is sometimes their most recent previous experience or that specific cosmic energy that is connecting with them wants to work with them at that time but many of us have had multiple experiences in many other realities. What comes forward for the person is just the energy which they are seeding or installing at the time. For example, I have many different cosmic energies that, that work with me, and this is due to my very vast and very ancient soul. Now you could see this clearly by my connection to Egypt with ancient, with ancient civilizations, stuff like that but it stems even further than that into the seeding of humanity and even into other galactic experiences. The energies that step forward are the ones that I am intending to integrate and to bring forward at the given time. As we can all see, there are major shifts taking place within our earth plane. Within these changes, there are new waves of recalibration and new waves of higher frequency children being birthed. You can easily see this. As the Earth was going to go through a major shift, many of our star families decided to come in and help and be a part of it all. In a sense, we all wanted to be the change that we're seeing now. This is why we are here. We chose to be here to see it through, and that is pretty incredible if you ask me. By now, everyone has had some kind of concept of extraterrestrial life, and it is no secret. Some people won't fully believe it until they see it, which is completely fine. It is not necessary in either case. You could say we are all extraterrestrials carrying out a job or mission. In that case, we are all starseeds. The starseed term is really given to those who have woken up to their soul purpose and raised their vibration to a frequency of galactic awareness, thus integrating their cosmic and soul fragments and carrying out their mission. When it comes to star families, they tend to step in when this awareness, which I previously spoke of, has come into being. Many people are now experiencing their cosmic counterparts, which is why there is also a sense of themselves in the past parallel or future timelines. I have to redo that one because I see the rainbow light and I am distracted. When it comes to star families, they tend to step in when this awareness, which I previously spoke of, has come into being. Many people are now experiencing their cosmic counterparts, which is also, in a sense, themselves in a past, parallel, or future timeline. These star families step forward to work with us when we are integrating or carrying out specific themes in our lives. This is why there are some people who have multiple cosmic spirit guides. Now, these are not only extraterrestrials, because that's a little out there, as you would consider them to be. They're also light beings, light bodies, collective consciousness without physicality, or even high density angelics, if you're connecting with that. And if you experience any of these entities, beings, or spirit guides, then this is a mirror image of who you are, who you have been, and who you are becoming. I will get more 
into star families in the future, but for now, I'm going to keep this super general for the new ones. All of this cosmic connection was there before you arrived here. You have had countless experiences in other realities and you are just focused on this particular reality at this time. You are focused here because you came to learn the lessons for your soul journey and to also teach others within your soul contracts, families, so on and so forth. And in this way, the life that you're living right now is the most important. This is also why we cannot easily access any lives that we're just curious about. We easily access lives that are in resonance with our vibration at the particular time if it suits your highest good and journey. So, if you are experiencing connections with star families and awakening to your star seed lineage, it is because you are in vibrational resonance and it is time to integrate the information. This is a beautiful gift and not everyone will access these connections in this lifetime. So if you are, congratulations, don't be scared. <laughs> You have been fulfilling your purpose and you're ready to keep climbing up the ascension ladder. It's just the next level for you. Again, this is just a brief touch on this information as it is very extensive and very vast. We could go on forever. Literally, it's infinite. So now that you've received this transmission, are you a starseed? What cosmic connections are you picking up on? I'd love for you to share with me and I will share with you. This is Derek Jamison, and I appreciate your time, your attention, and your love, and I will see you in the astral plane.